It's day 27 of the Body Shaping for Women Over 50 series and today is cardio toning. Grab your lightest dumbbells and let's go! All right, killer bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. And that means that we are getting started with some arm circles with high knees, you guys. You guys, I am feeling a little bit giddy. Today is day 27 of 28 days of this body shaping series. You guys, welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about making peace with your menopausal body. And I'm wondering, I'm wondering if you just randomly clicked on day 27 for no other reason and then you love walking with weights and cardio toning and thought that this sounded like a super fun workout and had no idea that it is the penultimate of our workout series. You guys, this has been such a great fascinating, illuminating month. Honestly, the things that I have learned about myself, my body, my abilities, my ability to push, my ability to recover, I'm hoping that you are feeling the same way and that you are ready for a super, super fun and moderately sweaty workout today. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. Let me try very hard not to kick anything any chair, any dogs, any anything. Blossom has joined us again today. She's very bored with me working out and just wanted nothing to do with being here, but she's also really comfortable in this chair. I was telling you just yesterday how she comes and sits in this chair like every day. She never spent this much time on the couch. So this is now Blossom's chair. We're just gonna call it that. <laughs> She does let me sit in it sometimes though. You guys, today, today is gonna be super fun, super sweaty. I have my absolute lightest dumbbells. I'm gonna encourage you to do the same thing. It is supposed to be a moderate effort, which means, of course we're gonna get sweaty. It's still a workout. We're still working, you guys, always working. But we're not going super crazy today. I've got the handy dandy gym boss set for intervals of 20 seconds of of everything. Some of it's work, some of it's not as much work. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes. This is not really intentionally a walking with weights video, but the rest periods I am going to be either doing like side tappers or just gentle walking. What we're going to do is inchworm style, which is one of my favorite things in the whole wide world to do. We're going to start off with one exercise and then rest, but then we're going to do one exercise plus the next exercise and then rest. And we're going to inchworm our way through the circuit, meaning that each exercise is going to repeat, but not in the same way. So we're doing pairs of exercises every work interval, but it's going to be a different pair every time. So it's always a little something fun for your brain and your body to be figuring out, okay, how are we transitioning? What are we doing next? What's happening now? <laughs> like, like all good workouts where you're kind of wondering what's happening now. Let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. We're actually gonna get started with half jacks, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's half of a jumping jack. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells if you've got them. And you also, I mean, I didn't mention it, but you really truly never need to have dumbbells. Let's go ahead and here we go. So it's half of a jumping jack, half this way, half that way, right half, left half. These cardio toning workouts are absolutely appropriate for you to not have anything in your hands either. What it means, we are resting and then we're going to do these half jacks again paired with something else. The start of an inchworm is always a little bit easier. I'm just going to do kind of like, like I said, very gentle walking. It is not meant to be part of the workout nearly as much as the cardio toning exercises, which by the way, are all low impact, absolutely no transitions up and down from the ground today. When it beeps again, we're doing half jacks paired with can-cans. So these half of jumping jacks, right half and left half. And then when it beeps, we're gonna do can-cans. And that really is the work interval that we're gonna have for pretty much the rest of the workout. So a can-can is just, I mean, it's not really what it sounds like. I was gonna say that because I'm so used to saying that. It's a knee and a kick on one side and then a knee and a kick on the other. I like to get my hands into it a little bit with a little bit of a front punch. You are welcome to do that or not. Again, it really depends on what feels moderate to you. When it beeps again, we are getting 20 seconds of rest before we move on to our next pair, which is gonna include can-cans. This is how we inch our way through. So again, I'm just kind of walking. It's very gentle. It is meant to bring my heart rate down a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. So this time, our pair of exercises is those can-cans 
paired with cheerleader kicks. That's where we have our hands starting on our shoulders and going up overhead. And that is where the magic really starts to kick in. So here's the can-cans. It's a knee and a kick and a knee and a kick. I did my best to try very hard not to have our hands up overhead for the entirety of the workout. <laughs> that is the real difficulty with low impact exercises when your hands are up. So here we go with cheerleader kicks. Hands start at your shoulders, elbows are wide, hands go up and down while we kick with one hand, one foot. <laughs> not one hand, one foot at a time. When it beeps again, we're getting that 20 seconds of rest slash gentle walking. But the thing about having weights in your hands and having your hands up above your head is that your heart rate can actually climb pretty quickly. And that is not really the point of a moderate workout like this one. When it beeps again, we're doing those cheerleader kicks paired with triceps curl downs. That's where we are curling our arm down while tapping out that same foot on that same side. We're starting with the cheerleader kicks again though. So cheerleader kicks, hands going up and down from your shoulders, one kick at a time, keeping your pace wherever you can manage, my friends. The thing about a moderate workout is that it needs to be moderate for you. When it beeps, we're doing those triceps curl downs. So twisting your arm down while also tapping out on that same side. What is moderate for me might not be moderate for you. It might be way too fast. It also might be way too slow. Maybe not way too slow. I mean, I mean, come on. <laughs> but, but each moderate, here we go with 20 seconds of resting, walking, being gentle, whatever works for you. When it beeps again, we're doing those triceps curl downs again, of course, inchworming our way through, paired with skiers. That's where our hands are going to go up and down in front of our body while our feet are shuffling back and forth underneath us. So triceps curl downs when it first starts. Here we go. The thing about moderation is that what's moderate today might not feel moderate tomorrow. What's moderate tomorrow might not feel moderate today. When it beeps, of course, we're doing those skiers. Every day, your moderate can change. It really depends on so many factors. So hands are going up and down in front of you. Your feet are shuffling back and forth. When it beeps, we're gonna get 20 seconds of resting or walking or tapping, whatever feels best to you whatever feels moderate to you. And that is probably the hardest thing about moderate is that you really have to know what feels moderate for you. And that is only, only accomplished through trial and error, my friends. There is no way to just start and be moderate and get it right every time. When it beeps again, of course, we're doing those skiers again, and then we're gonna pair that with walking stars. So skiers where your hands are going up and down, feet are shuffling back and forth. Walking stars, you might know as a box step or a V step. We're picking an apple, we're putting it in our pocket. <laughs> we're singing a little song while we do it. We're stepping forward and putting one hand up at a time and then stepping back. So forward, forward, back and back. Forward on the other leader foot, back and back. Changing leader feet is what makes this challenging for your brain as well as your body and definitely challenging for our body because we've got our hands up overhead for kind of two exercises in a row. Just one hand at a time though makes it a little bit easier. And then back to walking, tapping, or fully resting. The thing is, it took me, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say months kindly to myself that it took me months to figure out moderation, but it's been years, truly. Coming up next, we're doing those walking stars again, and we're pairing them with toy soldiers. So that really is going to be two hands in the airs kind of intervals. So we're really gonna think about making sure that we keep it moderate. Toy soldiers is where we have both hands starting in the up position, gonna reach our opposite hand towards our opposite kicking foot. Good job. I understood the concept of moderate. Here we go with both hands up. Ooh, doggies. This one's tough because of the weights and tough because we've got hands above heads, making sure that your core is pulled in super duper tight. Really thinking about good form, even while we're doing cardio. It's cardio toning and really even just cardio. Here we go back to that tapping, walking, or 
fully resting. When it beeps again, doing those toy soldiers again, inchworming through, <laughs> paired with, I told you this was coming again, chicken wing sidekicks, my friends. <laughs> I'm so excited about the chicken wing sidekicks. I was tickled when I wrote it down on the whiteboard today. Here we go with toy soldiers. The thing, about, the thing about finding your moderate is that I know you understand intellectually what moderate is. I know you do. When it beeps again, we're going to put our hands at our armpits. We're going to flap our elbows like chicken wings while we're kicking out to one side at a time. So, whoops, that was like more like a booty kicker. That was funny. I'm not really sure what my leg was doing there, but it wasn't quite a side kick. So, hands are flapping like chicken wings while kicking out to the side. <laughs> this move cracks me up. And my friends, if we're not having fun, whew, when we're working out, when are we going to have fun, huh? When else? When it beeps again. We're doing those chicken wing sidekicks again. Of course we are. And we're going to pair them with disco dancers. So that is one hand out to the side slash up overhead at a time. Literally, you're going to look like John Travolta in Saturday Night Fever. So here's our chicken wing sidekicks. Really thinking about moving those elbows. Do you feel that work <laughs> in your shoulders? That's where the toning comes in. Even if you're empty handed on this, there's still plenty of toning work to be done. So when it beeps, we're doing disco dancers, which means that one hand is going up at a time. We're getting a little bit of a pivot while our opposite foot is also tapping out to the side. I've got my disco fingers going one at a time, really feeling that work in my shoulders. When it beeps again, we're coming back to that walking, tapping, resting position. Excellent job. Okay. Whew. Okay. I know the rubber is meeting the road. We're coming down to the end of my list here. We are going to make it through the circuit twice. When it beeps again, we're doing those disco dancers and we're pairing them with alley-oops. That's where we go swooping up and all the way over into a lunge on one side. So here's our disco dancers. If you don't want to lunge, totally fine. Honestly, I'm looking. Is that really the only... Oh, it totally is. It's the only like squat slash lunge thing that we're doing. If you don't want to lunge, just do rainbow star or rainbow jacks instead. It's the same overhead swooping motion. We're coming up overhead like a rainbow, but for some of us, we're coming down into a lunge and some of us are just kicking or bringing up one knee to the side. Totally fine. This is much more about lateral and having your hands up overhead than the specifics of lunging down or not lunging down. And honestly, if I had, if I had thought a little harder about it, here we go right back to walking. If I had thought a little harder about it and realized that that was the only lunging we were doing, I would have actually done rainbow kicks. So you're absolutely welcome to sub that out. Actually, anytime, anytime we do any lunging, any squatting, just do some kind of kicking. When it beeps again, I'm going to go ahead and do the alley-oops again because that's what's written on my whiteboard. And we're pairing it with something that I have called tipping stars. Honestly, it's a lot like those disco dancers, except that we're fully balancing. It is, we're tipping over into kind of a star balance while kicking out the other foot away from us. Hands are going to start here in the middle. We're kicking out opposite hand, opposite foot to each side. So your hands start in the middle and then one goes out to the side while the opposite foot kicks out to the side, really pulling in that core, really thinking about finding a pace that works because this work got tough as it does. Right back to walking, tapping, resting, whatever feels good. This is the thing about cardio toning. Even a moderate pace brings up your heart rate when it beeps again. Doing those tipping stars and we're pairing them with booty kicker jacks. So once again, hands above your head. So here we go with those tipping stars. Whee! Tipping over by kicking out to the side. And I got my disco fingers because really it does feel a lot like disco dancers. It's just got that extra bit of balance. Booty kicker jacks. Your hands are doing jumping jacks. Your lower body is doing booty kickers. Going to start with your hands up. And as your hands come down, whoo, I'm going way slower on this one. 
one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I thought I was going to go faster. Empty handed, I can go a lot faster. But it's just one booty kicker at a time while your hands are doing jumping jacks. When it beeps again, whew, we're going to rest or walk or tap, whatever works for you. Awesome job. And my walking has gotten a little bit more relaxed. And that is exactly what we're figuring out here. You do not have to push any harder than this. When it beeps again, we're starting back over with the top of the circuit. So we're going to do those booty kicker jacks paired with half jacks. So hands up, booty kicker jacks. Awesome job. It's amazing how your pace changes when you're moderating with weights versus moderating, I'm gonna say just cardio. Honestly, cardio all by itself is plenty of work. So here's our half jacks, tapping that foot one hand at a time. Ah, back to the beginning of the circuit where we had a little bit more hands down. <laughs> A little bit more, a little bit more moderation, but we're back, or we're rather, we're still into the double intervals. That is what gets tricky about an inchworm. Here we go back to walking. Inchworm workouts, you know, they start off so easy. You just do the one exercise and then you rest. And then two exercises doesn't feel bad, but then you get halfway into it like we are and it starts to feel like, oh, hey, we're really working. When it beeps, of course, we're doing those half jacks paired with can-cans. And I'll be honest, my workouts always follow a pretty predictable sense of flow. They always get harder as we go, almost always. I try to make them get a little bit more difficult so that there's a real sense of accomplishment. When it beeps here, we're doing can-cans. I had, I had a client one time, so knee and kick, knee and kick. I had a client one time who challenged me on so many levels, but she begged me to make workouts that got easier instead of harder because like most of us, it was like, I don't wanna finish on the hardest thing. Here we go back to walking. And I totally understand that impulse, but then one time, one time, I gave in and I made her a workout that got easier and she hated it. <laughs> When it beeps again, we're doing can-cans paired with cheerleader kicks. There really is psychologically something very satisfying, here we go with can-cans, about finishing on the toughest note, on getting all the way through, really accomplishing something kind of amazing, and then finishing on the toughest thing of all, and really feeling like you've given it your all. When it beeps, we're doing those cheerleader kicks. Hands start at your shoulders. Whoops, that was two kicks in a row. Hands start at your shoulders and go up overhead, slowing down my pace so that my heart rate doesn't go crazy. Paying attention to your heart rate is one of the ways to pay attention to moderation. Again, I get asked this question a lot. How do I know what's the heart rate that I'm trying to go for? Here's 20 seconds of resting or walking. There's not a specific number that you're aiming for. There might be a range depending on what you are used to with your workouts. When it beeps again, we're doing those cheerleader kicks paired with triceps curl downs. The fact is moderation cannot be quantified in a reliable way. And that is the problem, I know it is. I can't tell you, oh, keep your heart rate at X and such and then do this for this amount of time at this pace. When it beeps again, we're doing those triceps curl downs, really thinking about tapping out to one side, really looking forward to having my hands down, curling it down, curling it down. Awesome job. Moderate to you is moderate. And I know that I've talked about that a lot this month with heavy weights. You know, heavy for you is heavy. Light for you is light. Moderate for you is moderate. We're right back to that walking, tapping, marching, whatever feels good. When it beeps again, we're doing those triceps curl down paired with skiers. And the thing is, I get comments all the time about, oh, that was super sweaty, that was super tough. Thank goodness it was moderate. 
And it's like, mm, if it didn't feel moderate to you, it wasn't moderate. Here's our triceps curl downs. Just because I'm telling you something is moderate does not make it moderate. You need to make it moderate by either cutting it short, modifying, going slower, whatever you need to do to make it moderate. Here we go with skiers. Hands are going up and down in front of us. Feet shuffling back and forth. And having that responsibility can be really tough. I know because, because I know what, what it feels like to just want to follow along and be like, oh, okay, what I'm doing is the right thing. But doing the right thing, 20 seconds of walking, tapping, resting, getting a sip of water, <laughs> whatever works, following along is part of what we're doing. Making sure that you know all the mechanics of what we're doing, super important. But making it work for you, way more important. When it beeps again, doing those skiers again. Here we go with those skiers, paired with walking stars. We're picking an apple, we're putting it in our pocket. And this really goes on a big scale and a small scale too. You know, following along, doing what I'm doing isn't quite the same thing as using the same muscles. Here we go with walking stars. Using the same muscles that I'm using or getting the same results that I'm getting. It always depends on you paying attention, knowing the mechanics, knowing how to get the best out of your workout, and then following through and getting the best. Here we go back to walking, tapping, marching, standing still, whatever works. And the best out of your workout isn't always working harder. You guys, I know, I've told you this so many times. Here comes the soapbox again, yay! When it beeps again, we're doing those walking stars paired with toy soldiers. <laughs> stepping forward, stepping back, stepping forward, stepping back. When it beeps again, both hands are gonna go up overhead, reaching our opposite hand towards our opposite kicking foot. And yes, this is me distracting myself from getting on that soapbox too much. I know, I know that you guys know. I know that you have heard me so much much this month. Here's our toy soldiers. You have heard me talk again and again about how to get your best, how to make sure that you are moderating, modifying. I know you know, but I also know how long it took me to really get that message. I'm the one saying the message. Here we go with that walking, resting, tapping, marching, whatever. I'm the one telling you the message. And it was hard for me too. I love to push. I love to go harder. When it beeps again, we're doing toy soldiers paired with those chicken wing side kicks. And the thing is, even about this, I am still in the soapbox. The thing is that for me, I'm coming at it from the perspective of I would so much rather push harder. You might be coming at it from the opposite perspective. You might be brand new to exercise or brand new to exercising regularly. When it beeps, hands are going to be right at your shoulders. We're doing those chicken wing side kicks. Nope, that was me trying to do booty kickers again. That was so funny. I wonder, oh, I wonder if this just reminds my body in some way, like muscle memory, of elbow swing booty kickers. Because I know I'm thinking about my elbows, I'm thinking about where they are, and maybe that's why my legs totally wanted to do a booty kicker. That was weird. Bye, Blossom. I know. You guys probably heard the front door. My, my oldest son went out the front door, which is just off camera, to help my youngest son, who just came home. And so now Blossom's going to bark at both of them when it beeps again. We're doing those chicken wings sidekicks paired with disco dancers. And then of course I said her name and so now she's really going to start barking. <laughs> so I'm going to stop saying it. We don't really have too much longer. If it starts getting really loud in here, my apologies. But I feel like we're totally going to be able to still finish this workout. <laughs> the disco dancers are where we have one hand going up and out to the side while that same foot just taps out to the side. Yeah, I know. We're getting ready <laughs> for those, those tipping stars later but right now we're doing the kinder gentler version where one foot stays on the ground just one hand disco dancing up and out to the side when it beeps again we're going to come back to that walking marching tapping resting whatever works for you but here's the thing if you are kind of new to exercise what we're doing as moderate, what I'm doing as moderate, might be way, way, way too much for you. Again, moderate for you is moderate for you. When it beeps again, 
we're doing disco dancers and we're pairing it with alley oops or whatever kind of kicking hand motion something or other that you would rather do because it's the only lunging in the entire workout you are totally welcome to sub out I mean you're always welcome to not just when it's the only one but you're always welcome to sub out for an exercise that feels better for you hands are swooping up overhead feet are locked in a nice wide position they're pivoting from side to side as we come down into what could be a lunge could be just barely bending your knees could be a kick can be anything you want to do and the thing is now that we are this far into the workout if you are thinking holy moly this is way more than moderate for me and I really didn't understand how much or how little I could do for moderation <laughs> it's totally okay to turn it off I know how hard that is to be to be the person who stops a workout in the middle but moderate for you is moderate when it beeps again we're doing those alley-oops plus the tipping stars so hands nice and wide up and over up and over this is the thing about being responsible for yourself for your results not just following along the tipping stars it's those disco dancers with the extra flying leg not that we grew an extra leg but <laughs> that your leg is flying out to the side rather than tapping. We're getting a lot further over, really challenging our balance, challenging our core, pulling in that core, thinking about good form and not falling over if you can help it. Awesome job, 20 seconds here. When you are responsible for yourself, I promise you, you will get amazing results when all you're doing is pushing harder or not pushing enough or following along blindly you'll get some results I mean here's the thing here we go with our tipping stars again pairing them with the booty kicker jacks you'll I mean moving your body you're gonna see results <laughs> you totally are but it's always up to you to do the exact right thing. Sometimes, if you're losing weight, that means counting calories. If you are maintaining your weight, it means fueling enough. Here we go with booty kicker jacks. Whoops, I was trying to do elbows. Oh, that's right. These are hard. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's why I was trying to do the elbow version. We're doing the full booty kicker jacks with <laughs> beeps again. <laughs> We get to go back to walking or tapping or marching or resting. <laughs> ah, yes, my body had something to say about that too. <laughs> you guys. One of you again, though, here's the thing. We have reached the end of the inchworm. We only have one exercise this time. We're finishing the way we started with one exercise and then resting because then we will be done. But you already know, of course, that we are not going to be finished. I do indeed have some balance work for us. I'm going to do a little bit of tapping, marching, putting my weights down kind of thing for the 20 seconds in between this exercise and our finisher I highly encourage you to do the same ah because of course it's balance you guys we are done but we're not quite finished here's what it looks like we're going to do star balance of course we're gonna hold star balance on one side for 20 seconds and then on that same side without resting we're gonna do star balance jacks so when it beeps I'm gonna start on my left leg so hands up we're gonna tip out to the side kind of like those tipping stars and we're holding this star balance wherever you can hang on to for me it's not super far over this is where my balance starts to get really shaky when it beeps we're gonna do basically what is jumping jacks but only on one side of our body so the left side of my body is gonna stay still the right side of my body hand and leg meeting not in the middle <laughs> meeting somewhere hand and leg are both moving though in that lateral plane like jumping jacks yes indeed you wondered how I could make balance harder this is how when it beeps again we're gonna do star hold to our balance hold on the other side no rest in between here we go right back to it yes my arms and shoulders are feeling this work this is the hold make sure you're breathing make sure your core is pulled in tight make sure that you're getting your best workout if that means holding on to something by the way I mean here we are in the second part of it but if that means holding on to something hold on to something here we go with the jack part of it oh my gosh I had somebody tell me one time leave a comment one time that their dog is named Jack <laughs> And you know how many different exercises I have that are some version of non-jumping J-A-C-Ks. <laughs> 
she was telling me that every time I said that name, we are finished, you guys, that every time I said that name, that her dog was like, what? <laughs> and I, I simultaneously felt bad and also thought that was pretty much the cutest thing I'd ever heard ever. You guys, let's go ahead and do some, oh, our circles. Ah, yes, even, even on a moderate day, we got nice and sweaty. We put in some good work. I hope it was moderate for you. When we do these arm circles, you guys, we're thinking, we're thinking, even during the cool down, we're thinking about really good form. We're thinking about getting our best out of it. We're not just flinging our arms around, but we're really pulling your chest, moving your shoulder through its full range of motion so that every single muscle that just worked can go back to not working, to go, go back to the shape that it normally is. It can unclench after all that work that we did. It was a really good work today, you guys. Tomorrow, tomorrow is our final day. It's day 28. It's our final day together in the original series, which is going to be a moderate day for me. It's Sunday run day for you. It might be Monday fun day. <laughs> it, might be, it might be any kind of cardio that you would like to do that feels moderate to you. I'm going to run and I'm going to tell you how amazing you are and I'm going to tell you what you can do next, even though we already talked about it. I'm still going to remind you what you can do next and how to get everything that you want out of this program. Let's go ahead and do ah, some arm openers. Oh my goodness. How good does that feel? And some arm closers. Give yourself a hug and a pat on your sweaty, sweaty back. You guys, that was really good work today. I hope it felt moderate for you. I hope it felt sweaty for you. I hope it felt fun for you. I hope, I hope that you'll also hit the subscribe button <laughs> before you go. And I will see you tomorrow for day 28.